Hello, people out there in the land of YouTube. Um, I'm back, I guess you could say, um, since I have done vlogging before. Um, but that was that was a while ago. Last year, I believe. Um, my goodness, that was back when I was. Anyway, anyway, yes, I've decided um, that I'm going to try and do another blog now. Sorry, not another blog, another vlog now and then. Um, not necessarily a regular kind of thing because my video camera that I've got here, um, which is attached my attached, not attacked, attached to my Mac, or the Mac that I'm using, um, well, inbuilt, just, it is a bit buggy, it randomly decides to turn off, which is annoying, um, so it's deciding to work at the moment, which is fantastic, so it means I can, yay, do this, um, so I noticed last time that when I was logging, I did have a couple of issues. Uh, one of the main ones being um, knowing what I was talking about, which is why I'm using script over here. Well, not so much as a script, more well, just points to elaborate on. So if I randomly look over there, that will be what I'm looking at, not person or something. No. Um, anyway, and the other one was more my tone of voice, which is a bit difficult working on when you're talking to a little green dot up here in the computer instead of an actual person, which would be much easier, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. Um, or maybe this is my usual tone of voice. Not quite sure. I'm not good at really knowing that sort of thing. Anyway, so hopefully I can work on that a bit, but um, no promises there. Um, but, yeah, I did notice that my tone of voice did make it sound a little boring. Um, hopefully not too boring, so I guess the idea with that is either make it more interesting or shorter. Anyway, so, um, I guess what these will be about is just generally things that are happening and that sort of stuff. Um... So, there's actually been a few things happening lately. It's, I'm in the last semester of uni. It's <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Especially given I'm only 19. Um, turning 20 soon, but still only 19. Um, yeah, so that's a bit weird. Um, but, yeah, so there's been a few things happening lately. Um, so one of the things I've been doing for one of my um, uni assessments, which has been really interesting, is I've done this... Um, uh, you familiar with the song Mad World, um, originally by Tears for Fears. I know the version by Gary Jules a little bit better. Look it up. Um, essentially, a bit of a sad, um, depressive kind of song. Ah! My screen has decided. There we go. Okay. Need to move the mouse regularly. Okay. Um, should have something for that. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, so I arranged that Gary Jules version of Mad World for choir. Um, SATB choir, which means soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Um, and the idea of the assignment, because I actually didn't do that for someone I've done that before just for kicks. <laughs> I like doing that sort of thing. Um, anyway, so the idea of the assignment was actually to get it um, run through by a choir and see how that would go and, you know, how they'd respond to that sort of thing and what they'd think of it, what bits they'd have trouble with, what bits they'd want to change, all this sort of thing. Um, so, I actually got to work with the Penrith City Choir, which was really interesting. That was, that was, that was quite good, um, being able to work with them. That was at the, and they practice at the Joan Sutherland, which is in Penrith. Um, funnily enough, being Penrith City Choir. Um, anyway, yeah, so they had about 30, I think, 
of them there when I was there, just under 30 maybe. And that that was really good. That was really good being able to hear that being sung. Um, and just being able to hear my own composition being sung by a choir is that, that, that's that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. Um, I, I did actually manage to do it before because there's actually a choir I'm in the Campbelltown Catholic Club Choir, and I got them to run it through once or twice. And that was pretty good as well, um, but yeah. It, it, anyway, it was, it was it was really good. It was really good being able to do that. And I'm going back there in a couple of weeks, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after, and I'm going to actually um, do a recording of it. So that's going to be good. Yes. So that's one of the things I've been doing recently. Um, another one that I've been doing, not related to uni. Um, is um, you might have seen on YouTube, oh, be careful of that, um, a couple of a cappella videos popping up here and there with you know people videoing themselves doing the different parts. Um, perhaps one of the more well known ones is the um, Star Wars a cappella, John Williams is the man, um, song by Moose, but a original video by Corey Vidal look it up if you haven't seen it, it's very good. Um, but yeah, I thought of doing my own a cappella arrangement of a particular song. Well, except it's not a song, it's an instrumental, like the Star Wars one was. And this one I have to say is a bit um, grandiose in its um, conception perhaps. <sighs> Yeah, I decided to take on the time theme from Inception, just just casually, you know, just just casually do time in Inception. Anyway, so I actually managed to score it, more or less, for voice, and I think at parts I have a lot of voices going, like twenty or so parts at least. I think in in the bigger parts because it gets quite big. Funnily enough, um, but yeah, so I've actually scored it all, which is good. But then that tricky part is doing words, and then actually videoing it all and getting the notes right and all that sort of thing, which should be okay. But it just takes a heck of a lot of time, and particularly since my this video camera, as I said, is a bit buggy. It may take a lot more time than I'd like. Anyway, so that's one project I've been working on. Another thing I've been um, doing a bit of recently is I've been having a bit of fun with Audacity. Um, and if you're familiar, familiar with the program, essentially it's an audio um, manipulation software. And I've been playing around with, you know, mixing and all these sort of things and um, so, you know, one of the things that I, I like doing, and I've done a couple of times just randomly, is I hear two songs that sound the same, and I either put them over the top of each other, like, and so you have to kind of beat match it, and then put them in the same key, and put them over the top of each other, or put them a little bit, little bit, little bit, kind of alternating. Um, and one that I also did... Um, I believe on my channel you might see my 100 times 4 chord song where I did the 4 chord song 100 songs Oh, and again it doesn't give me any warning test test anyway so I did a mix version of that essentially I took all the, audi the audio from the original songs and used those and in doing that, I actually found that a couple of them weren't four chord songs, so I had to change it up a bit. Um, but that was really good. It's also really long. And since I'm using the original audio and stuff, it's not actually something that I can put up anywhere. <laughs> Which is a bit annoying, but oh well. Um, I, though I think if I make a video for it, I can put it up on YouTube, but I'm not sure about that. Because um, I think other people have done that. But anyway. 
So, last thing I wanted to mention is that um, there's been a UWS, 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 which is the University of Western Sydney, which is the uni university that I go to, Ultimate Talent Competition. And essentially they said, um, send in a 30 second video of whatever you do and we'll pick the top 15 and they'll go into a competition thing and big performance kind of thing. So I thought, okay, let's have a go. What can I do that works in 30 seconds? Because the thing is, I've got a lot of songs, um, and funny songs, but most of the time, they really work if you look at, well, maybe not the whole song, but certainly more than 30 seconds, is, is the thing I was thinking. So I was like, oh, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do? So what I did was I used, or well, I grabbed something from someone else, essentially. Um, Scared Weird Little Bats, if you've ever heard of them, they have something called the 30 second song, which goes for 30 seconds, which is, I thought, rather handy. So I managed to pull that off in 30 seconds which actually takes a bit of practice, getting it down to pretty much exactly 30 seconds. Sorry, I just had someone at the door there. Anyway, um, hopefully I'll be able to edit these two bits together. Anyway, so I sent that in, and I got in the top 15. Cool. So, that is next Wednesday night, which would be the... That is a good question. What date would that be? Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. That would be the 3rd. The 3rd of October. So if you're viewing this after the 3rd of October, it is in fact not next Wednesday at all. Um, but if you are viewing this before the 3rd of October, it is the... Th well, it will always be the 3rd of October, but it will not always be next Wednesday. Anyway, so if you happen to be free on the night of the 3rd of October, if you head over to the Parramatta campus of UWS, I believe it will be at, at about 4.30, I think it is, so not exactly night, but afternoon, going into the night, I believe. Yeah, so it starts at 4.30, and yeah, I'll be playing there, I think doing, I think I have three to five minutes, so I'll have to pick which song I'm going to do, because a couple of my songs are going upwards of five minutes, so I'll have to figure that out. Anyway. So yeah, that's all I've got for this one. Don't want it to drag on for too long. It probably already has. So if you like it, like it, comment, share, subscribe, etc. You know the drill. Um, yeah, it'd be great to get some sort of interaction going. See you next time.